In this video, we are going to discuss the Apply, Track, and Ignore settings in your EasyClaim program. We'll go over the three different settings to help you make the best decision for your adjustment codes. To start, I'd like to go over the basics. Here we have an open 835 file. All the adjustments are displayed at the bottom of the 835 preview. They are grouped by reason code and process status. The first column starting on the left are your action options, apply, track, or ignore. Next to those, you'll see your group codes and reason codes. We also include the adjustment description for easy reference to help you decide the best action for that particular adjustment code. To the right of that is the adjustment amount, indicating how much would be applied to the service line. The last column is either your process status or claim status, depending on your settings. All of this information is used together to help you decide the appropriate action for your adjustment, whether you apply, track, or ignore the adjustment. What do we mean when we say apply, track, or ignore? When you apply an adjustment, you're writing off the adjustment amount. You're applying that amount to the service line. When you track an adjustment, you're posting it or applying it to the service line to allow for claim follow-up. It posts as a $0 adjustment. And last is ignore. It does just what it says ignores the adjustment, it does not get applied. Looking at our example here, you see that we have three different adjustments being reported on this 835. We have a CO45, a CO181, and a PR2. Of the three, only the CO45 is selected to apply because that's the only one we would want to be applied. The CO45 is representing a contractual reduction in payment from the payer, typically received when charging usual or customary rates. Since this money isn't collectible from a secondary payer or the patient, you can apply the adjustment and the program will write the amount off for you. The second adjustment listed is a CO181 indicating the procedure code was invalid on the data service. This adjustment is set to track because you would want to follow up on that. Maybe the claim can be rebuilt. The last adjustment on this file is a patient responsibility code, a PR2, indicating a coinsurance amount due from the patient. This type of adjustment would be tracked so the amount can be billed to the patient or sent to the secondary payer for payment. When you track adjustments, you're associating the adjustment with the service line for future reference or follow-up. If we open this sample claim, we can see how an applied adjustment looks and how a tracked adjustment looks. The CO45 was applied and reduced the balance by $10. We also see the tracked PR2 indicating a $20 coinsurance, which is the balance of the claim. Notice that in the amount field, it shows $0.00, and zero cents, but we see the $20 represented in the note field for reference. Let's look at our example with the tracked CO181. We see it's posted to the claim for reference, and the full charge amount is still the line balance. There's very few adjustments that would ever be applied, usually just contractual reductions. Everything else should be tracked. In fact, the program has them all defaulted to track, except the newest releases of the program, which do have your reason code 45 set to apply by default. You can change your default settings by clicking on the Options button at the top right corner of the Open 835 tab. Once the default is set, it will apply to all 835s thereafter. 
And for quick reference, we have the Apply Track Ignore Definitions in the corner of both the Options pop-up and the Open 835 tab. Not all payers use the group codes and reason codes appropriately. It's important to actually look at the adjustment to verify you're making the right selection. There is one more important feature that I want to point out with the adjustments. It's called View Adjustments Ungrouped. This button is on the right side of the screen, and this is used when you want to control individual adjustments. Right now, the adjustments are grouped by reason code, but when I click the button, the grid changes to show all the adjustments individually. Notice that each adjustment now has an action column that you can choose from. Thank you for watching. Please check our YouTube tutorial playlist for more videos.